Today we are talking about the DJI FPV drone and specifically FCC hacks. Now I talked about this on my live stream last night but I've decided to put it out as a separate video. Now in this one I'm going to walk you through what the current situation is for FCC hacks on the FPV drone at the point of me making this video. Now just to be clear this is not going to be an out and out tutorial. I am not going to be walking you through step by step how to do it. There are multiple hacks available and the point of this video is to give you the information of what options there are, what you need to consider before actually doing it and where you go to get them. However, I'm not going to be walking you through absolute step by step because they basically are a little bit more complicated on this than they were on the FPV drone and rather than doing a tutorial I wanted to give you guys the info you need to actually make a decision what might suit you best. Now just to be also clear that there is no simple hack for the FPV drone whereas on the FPV goggles when used with the ear units you had the NACO text file nothing like that exists for the FPV drone at this point in time. The hacks that are available are either hacked apps or created apps that force the drone into FCC mode. However, they are not free. Both options are chargeable because you are paying for the developer's fees the time they put in to actually make these hacks available. If you're not interested in paying for one, there is no FCC solution for the FPV drone at this time other than the options that I'm going to be telling you today. Now, just before I get into this, I just want to say, if you do find this video useful, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to the DJI FPV drone, the goggles in the description of this video. However, they are affiliate links and I will receive a kickback if you use them. However, it is only by you guys using the links am I able to keep making videos like this. Anyway, let's get on with this. Let's take a look at what what the current situation is and give you guys a guide of what the options are. So to take a look at the current situation, well, the first thing you need to understand is that the FPV drone does not work the same as the goggles that we had before. It is more like all of DJI's previous drones and the hacks for this are basically the same sort of hacks that people have had to make and create for things like the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Mini 2 and the Mavic Air. As a result of that, those developers are charging for their work and there will be a cost associated with applying these hacks. There are two solutions currently available at the point of making this video. One works on Android, which is called Drone Hacks, and another is a hacked version of the Fly app that works on iOS. Now, we're first of all going to talk about the Drone hack solution because that is the simplest way to actually get an FCC hack on the FPV drone. Whilst you might not be an Android user, even though there is an iOS option available, the Android version is quicker and simpler and it is really the easiest way to go right now. Now, just to actually take a look at what it is, Drone Hacks is a company or a person who has been making hacks for DJI drones for quite some time. When you go to their website, you will find a load of information about what hacks they have, and they have a dedicated app called DH Companion that is designed to be used with various drones from DJI, including the FPV one. Now, this hack requires a license, which is called their Light License, and it costs about $25. Once you've done that, that will give you access to their DH Companion app that will allow you to put the drone in FCC mode. Now on their page, they give a list of instructions and you can scroll down and at the bottom, they've got the instructions for the FPV racer. Now the way this DH Companion app works is a bit different to what you might expect with Fly. For instance, what it does is it forces the drone into FCC mode, but it means you cannot use the Fly app with it. The Fly app is what tells the drone what region it needs to be in, in combination with the internal GPS. The DH Companion app basically overrides that. And whilst it does allow you to force the drone into FCC, you can't then use the Fly app because the second you use the Fly app, it will force the drone back into CE mode. So the way you would use the DH Companion is you would connect the drone to your goggles and your remote. If you needed to unlock via a GeoZone, you would do that on DJI Fly 
fly then once you have done that you would then close the fly app open the dh companion and apply the hack once that hack is applied the drone would enter fcc mode and you would then get the increased power output now when you have done fcc on the fpv drone there is basically very little difference that you see in the sense of there are no additional channels in most areas and there are no additional options for the most part the only way you will know it's in fcc is simply by the improved signal reception there is no doubling of the channels like we saw on the fpv system though now one of the big downsides to using the drone hack solution is that you cannot use the fly app with it live which means you cannot use that secondary live feed output if that is important to you the drone hack solution probably isn't the one for you however the drone hack solution is the simplest one overall now just to walk you through how the drone hacks app actually works now this isn't an out and out tutorial you will need to have already downloaded the dh companion app installed it on your device and registered your account and bought a license with drone hacks once you've done that you are then ready to use it and it works as follows you simply connect your smartphone or your tablet on android to your fpv goggles via the supplied otg cable you then turn your drone on and then you simply follow the instructions that are shown on the display once you've opened the dh companion app and it's all connected you will see that it shows the device connection at the top the license type and then we simply press the enable fcc mode button to force it into fcc mode and that is it done it's hacked it's entered fcc mode and then you've got the maximum power output available on the device now as it shows you on the display settings region us done do not connect the device to fly up again or the hack needs to be redone so if you were to connect the fly app to it at this point after doing this it would reset it back to ce mode now there is also the option to click restore which you can simply do and then it will force it back into the original CE mode for me, which is in GB. And that really is it. The drone hack solution is a very nice and clean solution. It is persistent, as I have already said, so it will remain when you change the batteries. The only time you will need to reset it is when you have connected the fly app to either unlock geo zones or do your login and things like that as i said it costs about 25 dollars and that gives you the license to use with it once the drone is hacked it will actually remain hacked even after changing the battery however it will reset when you connect your uh, fly app to it again because that will push it back into the mode that you're meant to be in overall it's a fairly simple solution but it is one that you will need to apply before flying for the first time that day and then again if you do need to do any geo unlocks you will need to do it again now alongside the drone hack solution there is also an option for ios however i do want to just say up front it is not as simple to do as the android solution whilst the drone hacks one you do need to sideload their dh companion app that is very easy to do on android and you simply need to enable apps to be installed from third party sources however the ios app whilst does have some benefits over the drone hack solution it does require either a jailbroken device or a developer license to allow you to sign the apps now the ios solution is actually a hacked dji fly app which is done by someone called dji tweak it allows them to actually modify the app and then install their hack embedded within the app itself they appear to be a community of russian hackers that have actually developed this and they actually update the app very very regularly there is though a cost to this just like there was with drone hacks and it is about 50 euros the last time i checked to be able to install the app and get the license however for that you have one year access to all of the updated apps and the hacks now the nice thing about the ios solution is that it works with the fly app the hack is actually embedded into the fly app and that means you can still use the live fpv output however there are downsides and the downsides are you will either need an apple developer account to sign the app or you will need to jailbreak your device 
to allow you to install Cydia and then install the device that way. Now, there is something else I just want to mention as well, is that the fact of this app is hacked. There is unknown info on what else the app might be doing. And whilst there has been security concerns around DJI apps, you should treat this hacked fly app the same because we do not know the kind of things that are going on with it. So you should actually be careful. Now, if you did want to actually get this app, you need to join their Telegram group. And this group is where you would actually get access to downloading their app. You can get it on a free seven day trial. But after that, you will actually need to pay for it. Now, they actually have a DJI tweak robot on the Telegram app. And you would simply go on, type what you want to do. So whether it be trial, buy, install, and that will actually then allow you to get the app downloaded, they'll talk you through on the app how to actually install it via Cydia and then get it installed on your device. Now, both of these solutions are very different to what we've had before. And as I've already said, there is no NACO text file available for using with the DJI FPV drone. The Android solution is fairly straightforward and it only costs about $25. However, it isn't perfect and it A, does require you to have an Android device and B, it means you can't actually use the Fly app. The iOS solution is a very clean solution in the sense of it allows you to continue to use that live feed output, but it does require you to have a jailbroken device. And I personally would not be installing that on my main phone and I'd be using a secondary phone for that one. As for which of these two you should consider going for right now, personally, I think the Android one is the simplest and quickest. And whilst it isn't a permanent solution, it is simple to do and it isn't one that's going to have any effect on your main device overall. Now, the tweaked app version works the same as the drone hacks one in most ways in the sense of that it is persistent. It will remain in FCC when you reboot the device, for instance, when you change your battery, but it will jump back to CE if you were to open the Fly app on its own without applying the hack. And the way it actually works is you actually open the app, connect it to your goggles, and once the Fly app is open and connected, it will then prompt you to apply the FCC hack at that point, and then you can continue to use the Fly app as you normally would. Here and now, these are the only two hacks that are available. They are both chargeable and they do come with a cost benefits and limits. I don't think we're going to see a free hack for the FPV drone anytime soon because it works very similar to the other drone models from DJI. There is this constant game of cat and mouse between DJI and the hackers to be able to close off the loopholes. There probably will be though some solutions we see at some point, but they will probably take a bit more time. And I suspect we will see a cleaner solution come from drone hacks at some point as well. Personally, I don't recommend anyone actually performs these. However, if you did want to, the Android one is probably the safest bet and picking up a cheap Android phone is going to be much easier than actually jailbreaking your own phone to be able to install the app. You can on iOS use a developer account, but there are some downsides to that and I'm not going to get into that in too much detail, but you would have to install the app once every month. The nice thing though about the iOS one is it is constantly being updated and they are constantly adding improvements and adding features to it. So if you did buy the iOS one and you were using a jailbroken device, there are regular updates just like there are from DJI themselves. Now, one last thing I just will say for CE users on the FPV drone, something I would suggest is rather than performing a hack is forcing your drone into the 2.4 gigahertz mode and 20 megabits a second. In my experience, the radio system works much better overall in 2.4 gig than it does in the auto mode and I've actually been able to get much improved behavior overall putting it in 2.4 and 20 megabits compared to leaving it in auto and you might find that solves a lot of the problems you're having. I was actually getting signal drops as low as 200 meters in auto whilst moving it over to manual 2.4 gig all of my problems went away. I'm not going to give you guys any range, but I'll just say I've had zero problems at all. And I'm getting the kind of behavior that I would have expected compared 
to say the specification. Now, as I've said, this was not an out and out tutorial, but I will give you guys a couple of tips. On Android side of things, to install the app, you will need to make sure that you have allowed the installation of apps from third party developers or unknown sources. You can Google that, it will tell you how to do it. But if you are having trouble installing the DH Companion app from Drone Hacks, that one will get you through. When doing the iOS app, simply go onto the Telegram and just type in the install option and it will tell you how to do it and follow the process through. If you want to know how to jailbreak your iOS device, there are plenty of websites though that will tell you how to do it, but not all can. So do take that into account. Now, if you've liked this video, please do give us a thumbs up. I will put the links to both of these hacks in the comment section of this video as well. Please do give me your comments and thoughts on this too and let me know what your experience is like. And if there are any questions, please do put them in there and I will try and answer them. Finally, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well. And don't forget there are links to these in the description of this video. If you don't know, I do go live on this channel on a Sunday night once a week. So please do join us for that as well. And if you've got any questions, put them in there and I'll try and answer them as well.